Hello my soccer universe. First title in Italy has been handed out and it is Napoli who take the trophy. Um, in a final that yeah I thought I had to watch two games. I had to watch Lusk and you will get the video on Lusk and the German Bundesliga tomorrow because I'm waiting for the second Bielefeld game this week although it doesn't really matter too much anymore but still you get that tomorrow. Um, so I was watching Lask at the same time as I was uh, watching the Coppa Italia final. Fortunately, there was a half hour um, delay in between, so I could follow most of the action. Uh, the game, I think, was a good one. However, there were no goals, and we'll talk about that. But first of all, let's talk about the elephant in the room. If you watched my last La Liga review, you clearly, clearly said that I was not happy with the uh, virtual fans. And yesterday, suddenly, we also saw fewer virtual fans in Italy. Not happy at all with that. There is something intrinsically wrong with that. Uh, especially, I, I don't even, I didn't feel that they pumped in any noise. It was just the scenery, in a way. I just, the fake noise and the fake fans is just something that is intrinsically wrong. That uh, I want to see the game as it is happening uh, right on the field. I don't need all this blah 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 blah. Maybe I'm in the minority because I actually really can concentrate only on the field. Um, and most of the time I'm watching anyway the low wall volume that I don't necessarily need the extra noise in there. So uh, that's my purpose of view. Having said all that. Really, having said all that, I have to say that those fans looked a whole lot better whatever than whatever La Liga was doing. A whole lot better. There was actually movement. I mean, it looked like there were tons of flags. It looked a little bit like a Chinese parade or whatever. Uh, but at least uh, it made sense. There was the Juve corner, there was the Napoli corner, there was the neutral corner. The only thing is they changed uh, between a red background on the main stand and an Italian flag background. And I think once they switched, well, the cam comes on and suddenly all fans are gone, all fans come back. That is something you should switch. Really. Also, uh, you could clearly see the clusters. I mean, there was a repeated pattern in there. It didn't look random enough. I'm saying this as, you know, having slight idea, slight idea of what's happening in there. And again, if it's not uh, not the main camp, 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 camp where you saw that the stadium was empty. This is also something that does, just does not jive with me. But at least it looked better. It looked a whole lot better than to whatever they were doing in La Liga. Uh, and there were no programming errors as well. And I actually have to say, uh, from what it was, it looked okay. I have to say it looked better on a small screen than on a huge screen. Uh, I first watched, uh, had it on the second screen, my computer, which was at the, uh, the distance. And I now also rewatch the highlights on the phone. On the small screen, uh, the fake fans look a whole lot better. On the big screen, um, you can see that they're absolutely, absolutely fake. To the game. Um, at first I thought it was all Juventus uh, that were attacking and trying to um, uh, put Napoli on the back foot. They had a whole lot of possession. They had also the first uh, couple of chances, uh, mainly Ronaldo. But I think that starting in the mid first half, Napoli for the uh, got a little bit more into the game. And I think uh, it was a free kick by Insigne uh, that hit the outside of the post. So that kind of signal, yeah, Napoli is in, in the game. Still, uh, it was you with more possession, but Napoli defending actually quite smart, smartly. Um, I would say they even uh, did it better than against Inter in many ways. And they were even uh, more proactive than against Inter. Um, there was a huge chance where Merit just got in uh, front of Ronaldo, who probably would have put that one away and the Juve could have gotten a lead uh, before the half. But also Diego Dembe, clear uh, on goal. I mean, about defending fans around, but, but with a nice move, he gets through the defenders and has a shot, and uh, Buffon saves it. Rather even first half. Uh, second half starts out similarly. First, Juventus. But as long as it went, the more Napoli was in the game, and it was always that Juve has the ball, Napoli has the chances. And what chances they had, I have to say. Uh, especially late, late in the game, there was a header by a guy that they uh, loaned from Politano. 
from Inter. Uh, and then in, in stoppage time, the huge chance by Maximovic, saved by Buffon and on the rebound. He also gets his hand and it goes again on the post. At that point, I have to say, um, Juve was not really on the field anymore and clearly Napoli was the better team to end the game. And I think overall, the entire game, which was uh, entertaining, uh, the only thing was missing was goal, were goals. Uh, and you know, red cards and all that kind of, kind of, kind of stuff, but we, we don't really need that in the final. So it goes straight to the penalty shootout, which I actually have to say is a good idea. You just came back from a lengthy break, don't risk more injury um, on that. So I actually liked that they went immediately for the penalty shootout and Sarri gave a speech and fired them up. And fired them up so much that Dybala um, made his first shot and yeah, was saved. The shot, I think, was well placed, but the height was not the right one. It was easy for Merritt to save, who just, uh, he decided, let's go there, and if the ball goes my way, and it was easy enough. Um, Insigne scores his penalty rather nonchalantly, and then Danilo steps up and puts it way over the bar. A huge advantage there for Na Napoli, especially when Politano converted. Bonucci also barely made it in. I think it was on, on, on the bar coming in, da, da, da. So, almost like a Zidane penalty in the 2006 World Cup final, uh, but at least that one <laughs> went in. Uh, but then Maximovic uh, con converts, Ramsey converts and Milik slots it home and Napoli get the first trophy of the season. And what can I say? I think it was deserved. Napoli deserved to get this trophy. Uh, it's the first one for Gattuso. I'm happy for him too. Um, yes, they all say that Sarri hasn't won anything in Italy, but he have won just a Europa League. So I'm really happy for that Catuso. You know, I like Catuso. If it was for me, I would have kept him at Milan. Let's uh, uh, news. I mean, Rangnick about to take over and all that kind of kind of, kind of stuff. Maybe that's uh, part for another video. Uh, although I very quickly, I'm not. I think if Rangnick would take over and he's giving sufficient uh, time, this is exactly the change I would like to see. Just pulling it out there. Uh, but I really like Gattuso is a no-nonsense coach. He was a no-nonsense player and I really, really, really like liked it. And lastly, the celebrations. Not like in Austria, Salzburg, everyone uh, two meters apart for the weather. I like it that, yes, the trophies are out and the players are, ha are huddling together. Yes, let them celebrate, let them have some fun and then test them all after and uh, put them in quarantine or whatever if you need to. Um, it was refreshing to see. I think it was a great cup final, only goals were missing. And while we are at it, very quickly there was also, uh, we have not really talked much about Serie B and I am not will not too much talk about Serie B, but uh, in um, make a game from round 25, in the February, Cremonese uh, beat Ascoli away from home 3 1. And if you're looking here on, on the table, it had actually quite some flip flopping on the bottom of the table, um, where Cremonese now looks a whole lot um, safer, but still very much in this relegation battle. Uh, Serie B is crazy that they have a huge playoff, like uh, they started the quarterfinal for the last promotion spot, and then they have a play down as well. Uh, yeah, the last three go in, uh, go down, so let's see where that goes. But hey, we have a little bit Serie B in there as well. Anyway, let me know what you thought about the game. If you watched it, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.